how can I recognize hypocrisy qualities in myself? The hadith about three people who will be the first to face the hellfire due to hypocrisy is very disturbing. Did they really believe that they did their action for the sake of Allah? To avoid the similar situations, how can I ensure that my actions are sincerely for the sake of Allah and do not driven and not driven by the desire to please people? This is something that should be disturbing for all of us, but disturbing in a way that it doesn't make the person give up on the mercy of Allah. Yes, sincerity is a serious matter, and we have to be sincere, seeking rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. It's a condition for the actions, but with specific points to be clear. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to do something, which is here, for example, sincerity, that means it's in our capacity. It's something that is not beyond our capacity, it's in our capacity. So sometimes people think, did I make it sincere if it's not sincere? No, you make a decision that is sincere. That's how it's supposed to be an easy task. But you have to remove away from one's heart, uh, seeking any other pleasure except the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And the second point is, Never to stop the good deeds because of out of the fear of maybe the lack of sincerity. So uh, shaitan whispers to you, or oh, you're, you're coming to the masjid so that people say, mashallah, you're a righteous person. Right? This is from shaitan. Come to the masjid and make a decision that it's for the sake of Allah. And whatever feels, feelings you have, it's all from shaitan. It's all from shaitan. Push that away. When a person finds this is, keeps on bothering him, in such a way that it's not normal, then it's all ways of shaitan. Nothing should stop the person from uh, making the commitment of being sincere. And uh, which, why is it also something that, that like that? Because the heart changes. That's why you have to always bring the sincerity into one's heart and seeking the words from Allah and making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that give us, that he would give us sincerity. This is, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to be Sincere and the dua of the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika wa ushrika bika shay'an a'lamu wa astaghfiruka lima la a'lam. Wa Allah, I seek refuge in you that I would uh, associate partners with you in my actions, seeking rewards from other than Allah, and I seek forgiveness from you in the things that I don't know. Sometimes it's hidden. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is the most merciful.